Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you step by step how to create a digital service product within WooCommerce. In this case it's a coaching call, it can also be any service that you offer. If you want to follow along with the same images I use in the tutorial then go to ferdycorp.com forward slash images, hit enter and there they go. I drag them to the desktop and now you can follow along. If you want to learn from start to finish how to create a complete web shop using WordPress and WooCommerce, then watch this tutorial. Now let's get started. I go to new, I go to product, I call this one coaching call, 16 minute coaching call. We know uh, by now how to deal with all this stuff. I'm going to add a, an image, upload files and I go for the photo of Ferdy from almost 10 years ago. It was 2014. So the regular price is, let's say 299. This time for 199. It's uh, for 60 minutes. It's a simple product and it's a virtual product, but you cannot download this Skype call. It's a virtual product, but people cannot download anything. So I go to inventory and I want to limit the purchase time to one per order. So people cannot schedule me for three hours, <laughs> only one hour, 60 minutes. And then at advanced at the purchase notes, I can say, go to HPS 30 corp.com forward slash Calendly call or coaching call to book an appointment with me. And then I can uh, link them to Calendly where they can see my calendar and they can book a time slot and then they already paid over here and then we can have the coaching call and if I'm in a really good mood I can send them the download link afterwards when I recorded the session. Okay so that's it of course we know the categories so I can say um, coaching and also here I can do that coaching so I publish it, I view the product, that's it, a 60 minute coaching call from one from $2.99 for $1.99. I can add it to the cart, view the cart, and when I would purchase it, I get a message like, hey, go to this link and book an uh, appointment with me. So that is it when it comes to a virtual product. If you want to learn more about categories, tags, product descriptions, featured images, the gallery, and more about configuring the product page, then you can watch this tutorial. There I'll show you everything there is to know. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good luck with your website and bye-bye.